Move out of the way, you rascals. Oh, that's one other thing I gotta check real fast. Is this thing all-wheel drive? Yeah, no wonder. Look at that. This little thing's all-wheel drive. I think this car might be glitched out or something because check that out. Okay, so these are my primary lights, my regular uh, running lights. And these are my high beams. What the heck? <laughs> it, it looks like, uh, so my lights are on, but they give no reflection of light. Now, these are my regular lights. And these are my high beams. <laughs> my lights turn off when I turn on the high beams. Okay. Funny enough. Uh, let's get out of here. Welcome back guys. I'm Ivan Goldbit. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Vapid GB200, which is this guy right here. Looks really awesome. Tell me down below what do you guys think about this car. We're going to be customizing it. I'm going to do a top speed run. Just a complete review of this vehicle, just in case you want to buy it or just in case you want to know my opinion on this vehicle. But there we go. We did a little walk around. It looks really cool. I do really like that the engine's in the back. Now, tell me guys, isn't Vapid supposed to be like the Ford brand in real life? Because this kind of looks like a Subaru to me. <laughs> Does it not? Maybe because it's blue. And whenever I think about a blue car that looks like this, it reminds me of a Subaru. It really does look like an old Subaru. I mean, Subarus don't have the engine in the back, so that's kind of weird. I kind of like that though, but because it's kind of small and it has the engine in the back. Let's get inside and turn on the engine. Yeah, sounds funky. Sounds like a four cylinder, like a really small engine. Let me look at it. it looks kind of big. That's a V8. Look at that. That is a, that's a V8. Uh, let's check out the interior. Well, the interior is all blacked out. The gauges are all old school, like really old school. Huh. So weird. The car is really small. I like that about it, but it's really plain and simple in here. There's not too much I can say about this. There's nothing too fancy in here. It looks like it's just black plastic or maybe leather, if even that. Let's duck down. The gauges are actually kind of hard to read. So even from this distance, I can't really distinguish the numbers. All right. All right. Well, let's go customize it. What can we do to it? Anything I can do? Anything at all? All right. Give me a second. I'm just picking my music right now so I can hear something apart from the game. I usually do that. Okay. So armor. Fully upgrade armor, brakes, get the best brakes, bumper. Don't you wish you could put the brakes on life? I guess. <laughs> uh, you know what? I kind of like the stock bumper. Yeah, there's no way we're picking that. Yeah, I like the stock bumper. What Look at that. We removed the diffuser. Rally. Uh... I would have liked the diffuser if it didn't have those little struts sticking down like that. Keep stock bumper. It just looks much cleaner in my opinion. But you guys saw it. Uh, chassis. Oh, check that out. Sick. Oh, roll cage now? Yep. Uh, wait, what? Secondary cage? Primary cage? Oh, okay. Chrome? Rally setup. Check that out. Now... One thing that I got a question is, I like this because I got the roll cage and the extra lights up front, but what color is the roll cage? I think it's the, the roll cage, I think it's secondary color. We're going to take this anyways. And it's really cheap. Wow. 3000. Engine, uh, dual exhaust. Yeah, we're going to take the dual. Uh, horn. We don't care about the horn lights. Yeah, they're kind of white, but we're going to keep them stock. Ooh, liveries. I'll check that out. Eleven liveries. Okay, that's pretty cool back here, too. That's pretty awesome. I think I like this one right here. Classic white stripe. You know what? We're going to take the white stripes. There we go. Classic white. Mirrors. Secondary 
mirrors are they kind of like the stock ones yeah they are they're just secondary painted color we're gonna take that because you guys know what's coming if you don't some gold is coming <laughs> some gold coloring is coming mud guards um for all, wait for all four of them yeah mud guards for all four wheels okay we're good we'll take that as well uh, plates, we already have the plates. Uh, respray, we did the respray already. I, I like this color watch. I think it's mm, ultra blue. I was about to say something else. So it's ultra blue. I like that color. Uh, secondary color. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, you know we're taking gold. <laughs> All right. What else, Switch? Was it just that? Let me go to crew color. Cause, oh, oh, that's weird. Look at that. That little stripe on the side of the door. That extends all the way to the fenders. Huh. Is that it? So only the roll cage. Oh, look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take that. Screw it. Why not? I mean, we could. Let me just check something out. I know I already bought it, but. What about red? Overkill? But I think I might actually switch my mind and I just wasted 20,000. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, we're going to take white. Too late. Oh, we have a bunch of more stuff. Okay, trim color. Overkill. If we do too much white, what do you guys think? All right. Well, we're going to take this brown color because I just like it a little bit more. And my phone just went off, so sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, why are you at? Okay. Sunstripe. Do we really need that? I think it's just going to block my view, to be honest. Even though it looked kind of good, it's going to block my view more. I mean, the roll cage is already blocking my view. Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? Skirts. Extend them. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't know if I really like it or not. Makes the car look uh, a little bit longer and... Uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, we're not going to take that. You guys may like it, but my opinion, no good. <laughs> spoiler on a spoiler. Oh, check that out. That is crazy. I like that little spoiler there. But it's overkill as well. Uh, yeah, we did that. Trunk. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because the engine's in the back. <laughs> Oh, what happened there? Oh, I lost my headlights. No, thank you. Oh, look at that. Look at that scoop, though. We have a bunch of scoops if we add this. Oh, not a bunch, you know, but we're going to have two. It looks pretty good, but I like the scoop. And I don't like this one because uh, it takes away my headlights. Wait, look at that. It's even more insane. A scoop and vents. All, all carbon fibered out. Smooth carbon. That is crazy. Now, if every other body panel on this vehicle was carbon, I would have done that. But it's going to look really weird if we only have the hood and part of the fender's uh, carbon fiber. That would be really weird. Kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, we're going to take this one, the vented and the scoop. I think that looks, that looks gnarly right here, man. <laughs> that looks cool. All right. A turbo, of course. Oh, did we buy it? Yes. Okay. I wasn't looking at the screen. Or that section of the screen. Uh, what am I doing? Well, we can do this. Why not? All right. Carbon. Well, looks pretty cool. But let's go into the rally, um, or the tuner wheels, I should say. Now we're going to paint them. Oh, check that out. That is overkill. Check that out. That is awesome. How many cars you got in this purple, midnight purple. I did love my midnight purple. There we go. Dark copper wheels, tires. Should we actually get that or not? It doesn't look bad with them. This is just a much cleaner view without the lettering. But the lettering kind of makes the car look cooler in my opinion. Yeah, we're going to take that. On this car, I don't like the lettering on every, uh, on every car. There we go. Uh, was that it? 
Yeah, we got the wheel type, the color, everything. Uh, tint the windows. Or the glass, not the windows. Might as well get inside. Let's take it out for a test drive, even though it's dark. Well, let me tell you, this thing... Let me tell you guys, this thing got much, much faster. I like the dual exhaust on the back. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, this this little thing's fast. Wait, let me check out my high beam since we're here. Wait, what? I think this car might be glitched out or something because check that out. Okay, so these are my primary lights, my regular uh, running lights. And these are my high beams. What the heck? <laughs> it, it looks like uh, so my lights are on. But they give no reflection of light. <laughs> that is so weird and funny. Oh, that is weird. Look at that. So my high beams are my regular lights. And those middle lights are turned on. But uh, the game doesn't show that they're on. That really sucks. It would have been awesome if everything worked properly. And even those fog lights turned on. That would be so much lighting. And in my opinion, really awesome. That is so weird. I'll show you one more time. Let me turn off all the lights. All right, so all the lights are off, right? There we go, all the lights are off. Now, these are my regular lights. And these are my high beams. <laughs> my lights turn off when I turn on the high beams, okay. Funny enough. Uh, let's get out of here. All right, well now that we have sunlight, we can do a full review on this vehicle. So let me open up all the doors so you guys can see what opens and what doesn't. Here we go, everything open up, check that out. <laughs> Look at that suspension. That we can see the battery, the pulleys. That looks nice. The air filter right here. On each side. Weird weirdly enough, okay. What about the front? Oh check that out! We have a spare! We have a spare tire. Not the wheels we have on right now because these are custom, but we have an original wheel that's a spare. That is so cool. It is really cool too how the hood actually opens up. That's awesome. This car is incredible, guys. I like the way it opens up. It's really nice. It's a manual, even though it's an automatic in the game. <laughs> um, there we go. Let's close it up. Let me get a little thumbnail right here. We have really good lighting right now. I gotta get a thumbnail. There we go, we're back. We have our map now so we can actually see the road. Well, we could always see it, right? But now I have the GPS on. Not the GPS either. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I can see the roads now on the map. Even though I play this game so much, it, it helps out. Let's see how fast we're going. Uh, I'll be honest, I can't see how fast I'm going. You guys saw me down below. I'll probably zoom in when I'm editing the video so you guys can see how fast I'm going. Watch out cars. Dang it, you rascal. Freaking uh, SUV right there. I mean, it was kind of my fault, but he wasn't budging over. All right, let's do our top speed run now. You guys tell me down below how fast I'm going because like I said, there's no way I can read that. And there's no way I'm taking my eyes off the road and looking at the speedometer. Move out of the way, you rascals. Uh, I can still see the line there, so... Hopefully the speedometer is the right one. <laughs> I think it's on the right side. I'm gonna have to zoom in when I'm editing the video so you guys can see it better. But tell me down below, what do you guys think? How fast am I going? What's the fastest I've gone? There we go, no crash this time. Awesome, there we go. Well, that's as fast as we're gonna go. The brakes kind of slide, that's for sure. Well, there we go, guys. That's how fast we could go. I can't really tell you a number. Let me get closer to the screen, and uh, I'm gonna step away from the mic for a little bit because I saw it getting close to the red mark. I think the red marking is 120. Yeah, it's 120. So we were only hitting 120 and not even 140, but we were close to 120 the whole time. 
Okay, well, awesome. There's really nothing else I can show you guys. Um, let me end the video in my usual spot. This little car probably would be good for drifting. Handling is really good, guys. It is not bad in handling at all, and I know I just I just crashed it. I should probably go repair it real fast before I end the video. Let's all bust it up. Even though I didn't do too much to it, but let me go repair it real fast. Oh, that's one other thing I gotta check real fast. Is this thing all-wheel drive? Yeah, no wonder. Look at that. This little thing's all-wheel drive. No wonder it's so fast uh, accelerating. The acceleration is incredible, guys. If you guys don't believe me, the acceleration is incredible. Buy this little thing. It's not even that expensive. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's go fix it up real fast. What brings you in today? There we go. We fixed it up. Now we're going to end the video in some other area. I don't know what area, but look at that little thing, man. That thing looks incredible. That cop almost hit me. I was trying to call my friend over, but I think the cops are on him, so I'm not going to call him over because he's probably going to get me killed or something. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new and haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I really do appreciate you guys supporting me by commenting, liking, and sharing the video as always. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay golden. I'll see you in a bit in the next video. Adios. And here's my friend Lucky. I think he was the one getting shot. I'll, I'll probably do the whole thing over since he's coming over now. Uh, it looks like he's not coming over. Okay. We'll, we'll just end the video right here. Kind of weird ending, but there's one of my friends. And he's probably running away from the cops. Is he dressed up as a girl now? No, I think he's still a guy. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, that's enough. See you in the next one.